Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. Now we are going to rewrite this as root x into small p. The first term is p root x which is rewritten as root x into small p. By comparison, we know capital P is root x. In the same way, the second term is root y into small q and the last term is root z. So again by comparison, we know capital Q and we know capital R. So now capital P is root x, capital Q is root y and capital R is root z. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now replacing PQR we get dx by root x equal to dy by root y equal to dz by root z. Now taking two terms at a time we are going to get the solution by integration. This is integral dx by root x this is already in the variable separable form so we directly integrate and this is x power half when we take the numerator it is x power minus half and when we integrate using x power n formula x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 here y power n plus 1 by n plus 1 in both the case n is minus half and we have a constant plus c1 so this is x power half by half equal to y power half by half plus c1 this can be rewritten as 2 root x this 2 we can carry here x power half is root x and this is 2 root y plus c1 so 2 root x minus 2 root y equal to c1 by taking 2 common we get root x minus root y into 2 and this 2 can be taken to the other side as c1 by 2 so which is root x minus root y and the entire term can be taken as u because when we have c1 if it is multiplied with any negative number or divided by any number positive number everything is same constant something is again a constant and so u is root x minus root y now we take the another two terms this second and third we get the same similar result so this is dy by root y dz by root z this is y power minus half dy and this is z power minus half dz after doing integration we get y power half by half which is equal to z power half by half plus c2 so this is 2 root y equal to 2 root z plus c2 so taking 2 common that is after bringing this here we get root y minus root z and now root y minus root z is c2 by 2 and this can be taken as v which is root y minus root z. Now using this we can write the general solution. The general solution is f of u comma v equal to 0 so f of root x minus root y comma root y minus root z equal to 0.